I love you, mi amor. I love you, city. I love you. You're gonna be fine. Oi. Hello, beautiful people. Hello. I wasn't planning on doing a video because city is being operated as we speak. I'm just waiting for her here, so this is why the unfamiliar surroundings. Um, but I have to react to this, and I am going to ask you for once to go call out Good Morning Britain who are absolutely exploiting poor Mr. Markle and twisting a narrative which is absolutely false. ...to the Mail on Sunday for publishing that letter. Is that not also something that's contributed to the rift? Uh, one page of the letter I, I really, really, really released, but not the entire letter. Uh, I, I, I never released that to anyone. But you released part of it. And a very hateful letter, a very, a very hateful letter from my daughter to me. Did you ever see? And yes, this is how I look without makeup. I did put some lipstick because you know, I have this thing and I know some of you will call me out that it grosses you out. It's just that punch my ex husband through which ripped my lip apart and it, it, it's, you know, taking forever to heal and then it, I got left with that scar. So I am wearing lipstick. I, I'm absolutely, absolutely baffled by Good Morning Britain. I am not, I'm sorry I'm going to swear, but I'm not a fucking journalist. I'm a 54 year old woman who knows how to read and follows the news. And if my job were to be a journalist, I can guarantee you I would do a much better job than those two assholes on Good Morning Britain who clearly don't even know, don't even know or don't know how to read or choose or, or love putting out fake news because of what of what this was asked of Mr. Markle. So let's clarify some of the misconceptions here, especially this one, which was huge, okay? We all know that Mr. Markle responded. He held on to that nasty, hateful letter that Meghan Markle sent him. Problem that needed to be solved, and they wanted me to make it stop. And because I'd reached out to Her Majesty, I was like, this is what's going on. What do you want me to do? What advice do you have? And ultimately, it was suggested by the Queen that I write my father a letter. So here we have this lady in Good Morning Britain saying, but the Queen told Meghan Markle to go see the, 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 the to, go, to, to write you a letter. And you chose to release that letter. So let's get into that bit, okay? Just please bear with me. What you're reading here is, do you remember that there was this trial and Jason Tonoff submitted emails and text messages shared between him and Meghan Markle. And this is Meghan Markle's own words here that she was complaining to Jason Tonoff about why she's writing the letter, okay? And she says right up there, it also does not open the door for a conversation. The catalyst for my doing this is seeing how much pain this is causing H. Even after a week with his dad and endlessly explaining the situation, his family seemed to forget the context and revert to, can't she just go and see him and make them stop? stop? And then she goes on, they fundamentally don't understand so by me writing, H will be able to say to his family, she wrote him a letter and he's still doing it. By taking this form of action, I protect my husband from this constant berating. And while unlikely, perhaps it will give my father a moment to pause. Obviously, everything I have drafted is with the understanding that it could be leaked. So I have been meticulous in my word choice but please do let me know if anything stands out for you as a liability, eager to hear your thoughts. So this skank of a woman, where does it say there that the queen told her to write a letter? The queen and everybody was urging her to go see her father, not to write him a letter. And she was very meticulous in, in her word choices, okay? And it did not open the door for a conversation, which is completely different than what 
that skank of Abigail Spencer said. She said that Meghan Markle wrote her father a, lo a loving letter trying to converse with him and that he was a nasty, I mean, th that People magazine was horrible for Mr. Markle and he had no choice. And the reason why Meghan Markle resorted to going to those to Abigail Spencer and, and her four other friends is because unlike what she thought, Mr. Markle never published the contents of the letter. And rightfully, Mr. Markle said he didn't publish the whole letter. He just gave a part of the letter, and it was a hateful letter. But Good Morning Britain can't even seem nor want to do their proper journalistic work. This is out in public domain. This is part of a trial in the United Kingdom. And then the woman goes, oh yeah, and, woman, and Meghan successfully won the trial. No, Meghan perjured herself. And because the, the judge got a lordship out of it, he, he didn't want the trial to go ahead. Meghan didn't win the trial. The thing never got to trial. And I don't know why they're saying she won the right not to take it to trial, which is completely different than having to have the case processed in a court of law and found innocent or whatever. The judge didn't even allow it to go to trial, in spite of the fact that Meghan Markle committed perjury. And once the perjury was committed, the judge said, oh, the Duchess misremembered. No, she fucking lied. Because as he said in that interview, he didn't release the whole letter. He didn't release the whole letter. He just released part of the letter, which refuted what Abigail Spencer, that skank of a D-lister, you know, he's just as bad as Meghan Markle, gathered five friends, her and four other friends went to People Magazine, and they were the first ones to release the contents, part of the contents of that letter, to imply that Mr. Markle was a bad father and Meghan was his victim of a loving daughter. So Mr. Markle, who had held on to that letter for about quite a few months, had to defend himself because he was being vilified by Abigail Spencer. And please go, you know, you don't have to do it, but I would, Abigail Spencer, you are a disgusting human being. You're a born natural liar. No wonder your birthday cone is the same as Meghan Markle's. You're both D-listers. You're both repugnant. You're both pathological liars. You are both pathological liars. And yes, these are all my thoughts and opinions. Because we all know, and I'm so shocked at Good Morning Britain, that they didn't bring that up. This woman goes, well, they, you know, she tries to make it look like Mr. Markle released the letter, parts of the letter for no reason. And as Mr. Markle said, it wasn't a loving letter. It was a hateful letter, which he didn't deserve. Worst crimes, to be honest, that are committed by fathers against their children. What, what do you think it is? I mean, you know Meghan probably better than anyone except Harry and her mother. What do you think it is which is allowing her to maintain this distance, given that actually what's well, happened between you isn't that serious? I really have no idea, and... Uh... As far as the, the thing I'm accused of, uh, uh, it turns out I was set up for that and uh, set up to ruin the wedding. It, it was a, a ploy of uh, a, a, a company, and uh, um, I was, uh, I was uh, uh, a victim. Thomas, you... I mean, they even make a mockery of Mr. Markle because, oh, other than Prince Harry and Doria, you're the only one, you're one of the few people who know Meghan Markle. Really? Clearly not, because he said he didn't know this person that she turned out to be. I don't think Harry knows his wife. I don't think Doria knows Meghan Markle. We haven't seen yet what Meghan Markle is capable of. I don't think she has... She has fully realized her skanky potential of being nasty. So it is actually laughable that they say that Mr. Markle knows his daughter, because clearly not, because if he did, he wouldn't find himself in this situation. What are your thoughts? You see, if that was me, and I was, you know, at death's door for quite a few weeks and months, and my, my daughter turned her back on me, I'd be heartbroken. How do you feel? 
Well, I, I, I'm, I guess, heartbroken. I, I'm very upset, upset about it as well, because uh, this is a cruel thing to do to a grandparent. Not to just me, to the king of England as well. Uh, they denied the right to see a grandchild. So, good morning, Britain, and those two posts were actually taking advantage of Mr. Markle. And I will speak to Tom Markle and say that he should not have Mr. Markle alone. He should have somebody by his side to counteract these people because clearly, I mean, my heart went out to him. Clearly, he can barely speak. He's struggling to speak. So let alone have a quick mind to be able to properly respond and call them out. Shame on Good Morning Britain to who are exploiting, just like those vultures of the past who were exploiting Mr. Markle when they took those pictures because he was set up. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that he was set up. It's disgusting, disgusting of Good Morning Britain. Shame on you. As usual, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for the super chats. Thanks for the PayPal donations. Please do buy a raffle ticket. It does help your school. So what are your thoughts in all of this?